Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal That is interesting that they're now letting androids basically do it. That they're like... It's almost like androids are going step by step up on what they're able to do as opposed to only letting humans do a single act, such as criminal investigations. So they're like... They could eventually be doing everything, essentially. So we're back with Marcus. Welcome back to another episode, guys. So we're currently on a path to finding Jericho. Now, we last left off with, uh... I think Connor chasing down Kara. So. Got a clue. There's the symbol. Android only. We're not an Android anymore, Marcus. We gotta blend in. Alright, I see the symbol over there. It's very beautiful flowers, by the way. Get in there. One symbol found and two symbols found. Very nice. Now there's one on the side of a wall, it seems. Oh, yeah, I see it already. I see it. I just need a light to change. Shebang. Nice, nice, nice. So we got one there. Do we only need No, we need two. Uh, where is the second one? Uh, my fan. I need to travel my fan. Sorry about that, guys. Unless it's not there. Ah, there it is. Alright. Sick. Got our clues. A robot behind a fence. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. We need three symbols. Uh, trying to look. I don't really s oh there's one right there oh and then one on this guy's chest but it doesn't look like I can see it so I gotta crouch under don't look suspicious Marcus I'm enjoying the hell out of this game though for real But I, I knew I would because I want, I've want i been wanting to play this game since it first came out. But obviously I don't play on PlayStation. Never owned a PlayStation. So uh, obviously I couldn't. So And then shebang. There we go. There's third clue. Um, Alright. Another side of a building. I saw another one up there but I can't get there. I have to find a way to reach the roof. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, can we get... Ah. Dumpster. Here we go. They love using dumpsters. A lot of games use dump dumpsters to help you vault over things. I'd say dumpsters are probably one of the most useful... Uh, one of the most useful things in video games. Which is kind of weird to say, but it, it's pretty true. Alright, and then here... That's two, and... Oh, there's a white one. That almost... Uh, I almost didn't recognize that. Sparkle? Did I say sparkle? Or I don't know. That's a long jump. I don't think you can make that. Pre-construct. Alright, well I can't make that one jump. I gotta jump off the wall for sure. And then swing off this. And then we chillin'. That should work. Yep. Beautiful. Alright, let's execute it. Bam, bam, and bam. Done. Easy. Ah, there it is. I see it. It says Sparkle City. I knew it said Sparkle. Sparkle City Repair Store. I'd find a way to actually get up there, though, I think. Unless I can examine from here. Yes, I can. Alright, so we got one... We have two, and we have three. Easy. Alright. Mm, it's in an abandoned building. 
which I'm guessing is up there, and we're gonna have to pre-construct this. Nice. Alright, this is a really cool sequence, actually. Uh, let's go this way. Alright, I, I, I get up here. And I think it would be best to go here. So we go here. Over to here. Yep. And then probably here. Nice. Flawless execution. Let's see what Marcus. Marcus is probably one of the most interesting characters to me. Because he's been through a lot of stuff. He, he knows how it's like to live really nice. But he also knows the rock bottom side of things too so it's uh marx is a very intriguing character so i, I, I like him a lot uh, oh yeah here it is well you gotta like stand at the right angle to kind of get it there we go glue updated combine this broken wall okay Let's remove that. They like never make me use left trigger. That's so weird that I that it gets used there. Is there more clues or is this it? Jericho. Oh, it's a ship. Jericho's a ship. Okay, well that just happened. What the frick, man? Jeez. Can we go up here? Yeah, okay. We just like walked up that thing and it basically disintegrated, man. What in the world? At least it didn't drop with us on it. There's a ladder. And this looks pretty abandoned. Is anybody even going to be here? Let alone a place to be safe. I don't know, man. Seems a little sketch. For real? We're going to, like, Assassin's Creed off this thing? Wow. So much for your coat. He's not even gonna grab it. Left tr Well, this controls confused me for a second. Doesn't seem like... This looks really, really abandoned. Where the hell am I even going? Let me push. So it's like a, a random room, I guess. Oh. Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. Interesting. So that's about uh, Kara. Android astronauts to explore IO. All right, that's kind of cool. Well, you know someone's been here, then. Or else there wouldn't be that page. What's over? Is there anything it can... No, nothing over there. Actually, there's another door here. Hold on. It looks like I can go in, possibly. Possibly. 
Never mind, it's locked. Okay. Well, never mind then. Holy jump scare, man. That wasn't that bad, but still. What the f- What in the world was that, dude? Wait, 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 hold on. Can I go in here? Oh, it's the same room. What the hell? Alright, let's bend down. Yo, chill, Marcus. Alright, let's try and open this. It's like a boiler room of some sort. I guess. It sounds like it's gonna break. Yeah, I'm gonna fall. I already know it. Yeah, I called that. I called that. What in the world? Oh, Jericho sucks, man. Well, that was kind of creepy. That's where you get eaten by a bunch of cannibals. Welcome to Jericho. My god, dude, it's so freaking creepy. Why? Oh my god. Oh, I played this one too. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. I don't remember up until where I played. I don't remember Jericho at all, though. I don't see world stats. 88% uh, of people walk the bridge. Bridge collapses. I, I missed a couple of, like, some stuff I could do. I don't know. But uh, let's continue. We're going to Connor? Yeah, Connor. Alright. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, mm. Reconcile with Lieutenant you? Anderson. Alright. I can't do anything else right now. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. I'm sure you won't. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <laughs> sure I do. I have to reconcile. Okay, uh, gambling? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love Hank. He's awesome, dude. Uh, you didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. I scratch his back, he scratches mine. Fair enough. This morning, when we were chasing those deviants, why didn't you want me to cross the highway? Because you could have been killed. And I don't like filling out paperwork for damaged equipment. Okay, fine. Uh, let's go, Deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about Deviants. You read my mind. There we go, let's go. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, 
which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to right. unpredictable behavior. Okay. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Come on, man. My man caught us look goofy. Harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Huh. Well, they fucked up. Fair enough. I walked into that one. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate Android so much? Is he not gonna like that question? You ever dealt with deviants before? Oh yeah, the uh, rooftop with a kid. Two months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. Let's go I knew you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. Well. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I mean, that's not exactly what I wanted to say, but sure. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. All right. Okay. I felt good about that conversation. I think we patched some stuff up, you know? I feel good about that. I feel good about that. I really hope I don't get a bad ending or something. Like, especially with Hank. Hey, Connor. You ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? Uh, no. no. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw... Feathers, Colombian Livia rock pigeon. A man hiding an LED under his cap. Mm. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. That was the lamest knock I've ever heard. Jesus. Knock a little harder, man. There you go. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Oh, that didn't sound good. Got it. Okay, okay, hang on, let's do it. Music on intense. Hmm. What do we got in here? Nothing. Literally nothing in this room. GG. Alright. What? what the fuck is this? Well, there was there was the pigeon feathers. Holy God, bro! Jesus, this place stinks. Yikes! <laughs> what is he looking at? Military jacket, secondhand initials RT, ninety percent cotton. RT, probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. True, but still. Doesn't he? Okay, so it's definitely an android. Is there anything else here that 
I could use investigatively. Oh, over here. Herba Farms. Oh, Urban Farm poster. Poster corner was 100% recycled paper recently moved. So we want to take this thing down and see what's in here. I need some fresh air. It's like a maze of some sort. Huh. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Huh. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower Yeah, wall. it's like a android religion Why thing. Why are they obsessed with this sign? If I remember correctly from Looks that like episode. Mazes or something. Might correlate to the book. If we can interrogate the dude. Alright, let's analyze this. Open marker pen, a wooden stool, reconstruct. So he's writing. Suspect was recently here. He falls, probably when we knocked on the door. Suspect ran to the living room. LED. So he ripped off his LED just like uh, Kara. His LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking fish. Blue blood. All right. All right. Let's see what he did after he ran to the living room. Scratches. Skid marks. Traces of avian fecal matter. And uh, metal hook. So it was up there. Got knocked over. So it was hanging up here. He ran, so it ran towards the entrance. What, did he hear our knock or something? I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Yeah, suspect heard us enter. And then he couldn't have gone very far at all. And then what, he went up the chair? Suspect is still here in the freaking rafters, bro. That's creepy as hell, dude. No way. Oh, God. Jesus, I hate these things. Yep, he's still here. Oh my God. God damn fucking pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it! Okay, sure, 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 sure. Oh my god. Scan fast for risky, easy but slow. I'm going fast for risky. Safety are fast but risky. Screw it, I gotta do it. Direct but crowded. Look out. Got it. Come on. I gotta take no detours around here. Yikes. We gotta go this way. 
Drive. Fast but risky. Fast but risky. I'm all about risk. It's all about risk, baby. Let's go. Come on, Connor. You can do this. No way he's still beating me. B. A. Holy shit. Come on, Egg. We got this. He's right there, man. Hey, be careful, asshole. Direct but crowded. I got. I gotta go direct but crowded. Look out! X. B. Come on. Oh, come on, Hank. No way. Oh, damn. Chance survival's 89%. Should we get him? No, let's save Hank. Oh, my God. Fuck. It's my fault. I should have been faster. What do you mean I should have been faster? I literally took every fast route possible. It's impossible to catch that guy without having to make this decision. We'll find it. God damn, bro. I couldn't have gone any faster than that. Nothing. I think the words you were looking for was thank you. Bro, I could not have gone any faster than that. Rupert got away. I don't even know who the hell Rupert is, man. 78%. What was the other one? Well, oh, I guess I capture him. I could have captured him. Like, an 89% survival chance is pretty, pretty good. He probably wasn't going to die there, but I also don't want to, like, mess up the relationship even more because I feel like he's going to be an integral part of the end of this game something's gonna go down and Hank's gonna need to save us as opposed to us saving Hank so it might be a good it's a good idea to probably not get him on our bad side so I would love to replay it just to see what it's like to get the other the other side of that but uh yeah uh, with that being said, I think I'm going to end this video off here. That was uh, a lot for one episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys all in the next video, and peace out. Bye-bye.